Good morning, guys. Today we're going to talk about carbohydrates. I hope you have your notes handy, and we're going to continue on with our discussion of the nutrients in food. So carbohydrates are our body's main source of energy, and you get carbohydrates from almost every food that you eat. There's a little bit of carbohydrates there. I don't want you to be under the impression that um, I don't want you to be under the impression that foods are only a protein or only a carb, um, even though we do refer to them that way sometimes. It's just like one of those things that we do um, as humans. We try to simplify stuff. So I have some pictures on this slide right here of foods that are basically generalized to be all carbs, even though they contain some proteins and even though they contain, you know, other nutrients like vitamins and minerals. Um, <clears throat> So we're going to, when I talk about whether a food is a carb or not, I'd like us to think about that food is probably more complex than just its carbohydrates. However, we're going to call it a carb in order to simplify what's going on because it's mostly, mostly the value that we get from that nutritionally is carbohydrate. And there are different types of carbs, um, simple and complex. Simple carbohydrates are found in fruits and vegetables, um, milk products and sweeteners, um, honeys and syrups and candy and soft drinks, um, frostings. Those are all containing very high levels of simple carbs. And when you took biology, you learned about glucose. Glucose is the main one that we get our energy from. But I will say that one time I saw a chart, um, and I'll have to try to find it. Oh, I should have it somewhere. But anyway, I'll, I'll try to upload it, or if you're interested, just message me. Um, but it was a chart of all the sugars and um, their level of sweetness. And they rated their level of sweetness from 1 to 10. And glucose, I would have thought, would have been a 10 because glucose is like, you know, what's made in photosynthesis and what we metabolize when we do cellular respiration. And it's like the major sugar, right? Um, but it turns out that... Um, glucose is actually very low in sweetness. When you add glucose to something, it doesn't um, add as much sweetness as you would want. I think it was like around a 5 out of 10, but I can double check on that chart. Um, fructose, on the other hand, is very sweet. That's the sugar that we find in fruit. And then sucrose is the last one, and sucrose is table sugar. So our definition of sugar is actually sucrose. All three of those would be considered mainly simple. Um, fructose, as I said, is a fruit sugar. That's why I have pictures of fruits on here. Pears, tomatoes, and bananas. Sucrose is our word for table sugar. As I said before, um, table sugar is a disaccharide. And that just means that it has two rings instead of one, but it's still considered a simple carb. And um, you can see all of these delicious things here. And the reason they're so delicious is because they contain sucrose. Sucrose is like, is our sugar, basically. Now, complex carbs, on the other hand, have molecules that look like chains. So I have a picture loaded up here for you to see. Okay. These two types of sugars on top of this screen right here are simple carbs monosaccharide, disaccharide. Mono meaning one, so it contains one ring of carbons, and then two rings would be disaccharide. That's what di means, di. Complex carbohydrates are called polysaccharides. They are a long chain, oftentimes very branched. That's why they're called complex. Their structure is very complex. If you look at these things um, uh, on a molecular level, it's not just four rings. It's like hundreds of rings and they're branching off of each other. And there's, you know, one chain over here that doesn't branch at all, but then other ones that do. And um, polysaccharides or complex carbohydrates are very complex, which is why they're called complex carbohydrates. And the two big ones, uh, actually there are three big ones, but the two big ones of this chart are um, starch and fiber, because those are the ones we get in our diet. And um, you can see evidence of both of those on our um, nutrition facts labels, which I'm looking around for one. That's why I'm looking. But um, we'll find some descriptions of those uh, nutrition facts labels as well. 
Now starch is made of all glucose and it's found in breads and cereals and pasta, rice and beans, starchy vegetables, potatoes, green peas, corn. Um, my husband likes to say that corn is a vegetable and sometimes I stop him and say, wait, it's a starchy vegetable because you don't um, get a lot of fiber from them, but you do get a lot of starch. And so starch is very, um, very important. I'm going to move my mouse here. Starch is very important for energy, but not necessarily important for other things like um, vitamins and minerals. So when you're looking to get your daily allotment of vegetables, just make sure that you're not choosing all starchy vegetables because starchy vegetables just mainly give you sugar again. Um, now these rolls, let's consider these rolls for a second. They're made of mostly starch and when you digest them, you're taking in the starch but very quickly, even in your mouth, you have some enzymes in your mouth that start to break that starch down. And where you would have had, a, you know, the complex chain that we were talking about, where you would have had that, instead, your enzymes cut the individual sugars off of each other. Um, in biology, you learn that as dehydration synthesis, right? Taking things off of, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, hydrolysis. Whoa, <laughs> that was, oh, I need to go back to bio. Hydrolysis, right? Taking monomers off of the polymer. When you eat these rolls, you mainly get sugar from them because you, your body digests the starch almost immediately, and the starch breaks down into sugars. So you don't taste those sugars in your mouth, but you do get the benefit of the sugars from your stomach, and that's where the term comfort food comes in, um, that you feel very satiated, very full when you eat starchy things, because starch in itself breaks down into um, these simple carbs, and you get a sugar kick from them, or at least a little bit of a one. Fiber is also a complex carbohydrate, and it has very many benefits to your body. It um, lowers your cholesterol, and it doesn't affect your blood sugar as much as starch does, so that's why it's a good alternative um, if you're going to eat a complex carbohydrate to have something that's high in starch. When you choose bread, for example, if you choose a bread that has lots of seeds and um, it's brown flour and it's whole grain that will contain more fiber in proportion to the starch whereas if you do something like white bread or highly refined floured bread uh, that will be less fiber and more starch so you'll get that sugar kick in your blood um, that you wouldn't get as much of if you were eating a fiber rich bread instead. Now, fiber is also good because it prevents stomach and intestinal problems, um, such as constipation. When you eat a lot of fiber, the fiber mixes in with the rest of your food and allows your um, intestines to move the food along more easily, and that is good for your system. Now, it's better to get fiber from food rather than from dietary supplements. You will see some um, fiber things like Benefiber and Senecat, um, where you take them and they give you fiber. Um, but you can get fiber from dietary sources and um, digest it a lot more easily. Well, not a lot more easily, but along with the nutrients that you need and um, other nutrients like that, um, vitamins and minerals. So you can get fiber from cooked beans. You can get them from peas and lentils, um, leaving skins on fruits and vegetables. I love apples. I hate apple peels, um, but when I can, I try to eat them because I know that they give me fiber and there are nutrients hidden in those peels. So these things do contain fiber, which is good for you. Whole grain breads and cereals. Um, double check the nutrition facts labels to make sure that they have a lot of fiber. And I already spoke about this, but just so you know the difference between starch and Fiber, um, starch is made of many glucose molecules all chained together, and it's easy for your body to break down. And so when you eat starch, it quickly releases sugar into your bloodstream and um, boosts your blood sugar. And even though it doesn't taste sweet, it still contains sugar. Your body just processes it um, inside and then it becomes sugar.
With fiber, on the other hand, it cannot do that. It's digested more slowly, sometimes not at all. The glucose remains locked up, um, but you still end up with that bulky, full feeling um, from eating foods like that. So this is about the 10 minute mark. I wanted to say one more thing. There is another um, complex carbohydrate called glycogen, and we're gonna refer to that, or we're gonna talk about that later, maybe in the next day of notes. But glycogen is the word for the complex carbohydrate that your body makes, mainly in your liver, where it takes glucose from your blood, if you have extra glucose, and chains them all together. So, like, basically, it remakes your, like, the starch that I was talking about. It remakes a polysaccharide. It's not starch. It's glycogen, but it serves kind of the same purpose in animals. Um, so when your body makes this glycogen, it's in a storage form for later, and then it's your body's expecting you to use it in the form of exercise. And if you don't, then that glycogen and the glucose in the glycogen is moved along in the process to um, form fat. But initially, after if you eat like a diet that's very rich in glucose one day, what it's going to do with that extra glucose is string it together in the form of glycogen. And um, I will make sure I add a slide about glycogen. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, so here we are. Um, your body can store excess glucose as glycogen in your liver. Glycogen is a complex carbohydrate, and if you don't use that extra glucose, your body stores it as fat. So basically, um, I, I said all of that, but um, I'm glad that we were able to find a slide. I was worried it wasn't there. Um, okay, so thank you very much for your attention, and that is our first day of Carbohydrate Official Notes. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you later.